<laughs> well, hello, I, I didn't see you there. Um, I've just been trying to do a different style of video. Um, so I've recorded this directly into the iPad using Bias FX on the iPad, recorded via iRig Recorder. So I wanted to do a short, updated, uh, little demo and mini review of this. The EVH Wolfgang Standard in exotic koa. Check it out. Bought this guitar from Peach Guitars in the UK uh, in early 2021. Paid about 500 quid. Uh, it's a really cool website. Let's just select the individual guitar. Uh, I chose this one because it's one of the lightest. So, is this guitar any good? Is it worth it? What do I like about this guitar? Firstly, I love the wood, the finish. This exotic koa uh, is absolutely lovely. Feels nice, looks nice, it's nice. Number two, this is a really well balanced guitar. There's no neck dive or anything. It's great to play standing up with a strap. It's great to play sitting down, really comfortable. Arm cut. The uh, USA made series don't have these on, so you're getting a little bit of a bonus there. Belly cut, uh, it's nice and light, it looks nice, it's really well balanced. Pickups. The pickups on these are apparently made to the exact same specs as the USA models. They're made overseas rather than in the USA, but they're, they're made to the same specs apparently. They're really good pickups. Uh, they really growl, they're really raw, but they can back off nicely as well for, for cleaner tones, bluesy tones. Very tasty pickups if you're into humbuckers. You can cover many bases with these. Great. So love, love, love. Maybe my favourite feature of this guitar is the neck. Roasted or baked maple. Mm, it smells delicious. Satin finish on there. It smells lush. It feels amazing. 
the um, the fretboard has got like rolled edges on there. Very nice in a guitar in this price range. It's really comfy. There's no fret sprout there. The uh, fretboard radius is from 12 inch radius here to a 16 inch compound radius. So a nice flat board. It's supposed to be easier for cording and things at the, the, the headstock and uh, better for doing whatever you're doing further up the neck. The neck is beautiful, really buttery, it's great. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the tram. Um, it's an EVH Floyd Rose Special, so these get a fair bit of flack, the Floyd Rose Specials. Um, I have to say, it's been absolutely fine. It stays in tune all day long, not had a problem with it. Um, that kind of... Shut up, Siri! I do apologise. She's belligerent. Um, but that kind of does bring me on to stuff I'm not super mad keen on regarding this guitar. Let's go. Overall, there's nothing to dislike about this guitar. It's fantastic. There's nothing really negative to say. Um, the only comment I will make is about the, the Floyd Rose Special. Um, like I say, it's been absolutely rock solid. I've had this guitar a few months now. It gets played fairly often. Um, stayed in tune, no problems. I've had loads of comments on the internet, YouTube, etc., saying that the trems are absolute crap on these. Uh, and people are recommending I change the, the zinc pieces in here, the saddle retainers. People are saying I need to change those for stainless steel ones. I may well do that at some point. So far, so good, no problems, no complaints whatsoever at this price range. An improved trim would obviously put the price up at this. Um, having said that, it is still a Floyd Rose, double locking tremolos. They're a bit of a pain, aren't they really? <laughs> I vowed I would never get another Floyd guitar because I just they're a pain in the ass, honestly. I've tried to set the intonation up on this today because it was a bit out and it's such a ball ache, unscrew in, the, the saddles ping forward, just a pain. Changing strings is a bit of a pain with this and this. It's a bit more maintenance and a bit more hard work than, than a hardtail guitar. Um, one benefit of the way Eddie liked his guitars, this, this doesn't pull up. Trem doesn't pull up, it's, it's for dive bombing only, really. That does help with changing strings and tuning back up, because you're not having to balance it as such. It, it, it won't go back any further than it already is. So, that helps. I guess it's the nature of the beast. You, know, you don't buy one of these if you don't want the hassle of the uh, Floyd Rose. Simple, apart from that, it is what it is, isn't it? It's a Floyd, it stays in tune, super duper. Bit of a pain, but is it worth it for you? Yeah, I think it's worth it for me. It's my only Floyd guitar at the minute, but yeah. Apart from that, this is a fabulous, fabulous guitar. Again, highly recommended. Brilliant. Get one. Oosh! Oosh.